The box contained uh, 50 stacks of uh, hundreds, which you can see. We have uh, 10 stacks right here. So we have, you know, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. So 50 stacks of hundreds. Good job. And then uh, this package uh, was supposed to have 20 stacks of um, 20 pounds. Welcome everyone, this is William from Phantom Drawing, and today we're going to be unboxing a big old box from PlayMovieMoney.com. I want to thank PlayMovieMoney.com for uh, sending this out. This is uh, going to be one of my largest unboxings. We have 50 $10,000 stacks of uh, hundreds. Alright, so full summary here. We have 50 stacks of hundreds, $10,000 stacks each, and then we have 20 stacks of 20 pound banknotes. 2,000 pound stacks each, and then we have 30 stacks of 50 euro banknotes, 5,000 euro stacks each. So we have $500,000 in $100 bills in prop in you know in prop money. It's not worth 500,000, but later $500,000 in prop money of hundreds in this package, and then we have 40,000 pounds in prop money in 20 pound banknotes, and then we have 150,000 euros in prop money in this package. So obviously, I'm not saying that's how much it costs to prop money because each stack costs about, you know, $10 a stack. But of course, if you get them some of the larger quantities, you do save a little bit of money. So it's gonna be a little cheaper than $10 a stack. Like obviously, if you order, you know, 50 stacks of hundreds, it's gonna be a lot cheaper than, you know, it's not gonna be $10 a stack. It's gonna be a lot cheaper per stack if you get some of the larger listings. Okay, so let's open this up. Hopefully I explained that right. If it was up to me, I would just be reviewing USD prop money. But, you know, unfortunately, they send me everything, right? They send me euros and pounds and okay so let's get this out so we have again 50 stacks of hundreds 20 stacks of 20 pound banknotes and then we have 30 packs of euros this is one of my largest prop money unboxings ever so i think i should just probably i wonder if i should just dump it out yeah let's do that uh, let's do it dang son okay so i know a lot of you guys don't like filler so uh This is the largest prop money unboxing on YouTube, I think. Make sure to hit the thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm. I got 50, uh, 50 pound notes. Leave a comment down below for the algorithm. Follow me on Instagram at Phantom Drawing. Also follow my Phantom Extras Instagram at Phantom Extras. Make sure to subscribe. Hit that like button for the YouTube algorithm. Share with your friends. We have a five uh, pound banknote. I didn't, they didn't tell me about that. I thought we were supposed to just get, yeah, the $100 bill, 20 pound banknotes, and then the 50 euro notes. But yeah, it looks like we have this, uh, yeah, this, yeah, these five, uh, five pound notes, which is pretty cool that comes in here. Anyway, enough of that. Oh yeah, so by the way, this package took 32 days to arrive, which is the longest uh, so far. My last Play Movie My package took 27 days to arrive, but uh, this package here took um, 32 days to arrive. And of course, this PlayMovieMoney.com is a Chinese prop money manufacturer, so if you live in the US like me, I live in the state of Iowa, so if you live in the U.S. and you order from Play Movie Money, you're definitely going to be waiting a long time. Oh, we got another five pound note. Five pound notes. We are finally done. 
as you can uh, see. I'm gonna try to get all this organized and uh, yeah, let's do that now. All right, so here's one last pack that I did not open. I, I guess I missed it, but uh, yeah, let's open this up. One last one. And I got everything, you know, organized over here, still in their plastic glory. All right, so uh, we have one more five pound notes stack. Again, 100 pieces in each uh, stack. This would be 500 pounds, as you can see right there, 500 pounds. So we have 20 packs of 50 euro notes, 10 stacks of the 50 pound banknotes, 50 packs of uh, hundreds, and then we have a four pack of the um, five pound notes. So 84 stacks in all. So we did not get 100 packs like Play Movie Mike claimed, but you know, whatever. I mean, they did send this to me for free anyway, but yeah. All right, so we have everything unboxed and undressed. And uh, at the beginning of the video, I'm sure you remember, I said the box contained uh, 50 stacks of uh, hundreds, which you can see. We have uh, 10 stacks right here so we have you know 10 20 30 40 50 so 50 stacks of hundreds good job and then uh, this package uh, was supposed to have 20 stacks of um, 20 pound banknotes but you can see we don't have a single stack of 20 pound banknotes so uh, yeah that's pretty misleading and uh, then we have we're supposed to get 30 packs of uh, 50 euro banknotes but you can see we only have 20 stacks but of course this was all sent to me for free pretty much what I said at the beginning is what play movie money said they were gonna send me in the email but of course they did send me the the 50 stacks of hundreds and uh but yeah they did they sent me only 20 stacks of the 50 euro notes when they're supposed to send me 30 and then they're supposed to send me uh 20 stacks of the 20 pound banknotes but they didn't send me a single stack of the 20 pound banknotes which is unfortunate but we do have uh, but again this was all sent to me for free it's not like i placed the order for this and then you have missing stacks like this is literally sent to me for free you know so Obviously, if you place an order, you're obviously going to get what you ordered, but, you know, this was sent to me for free, you know, to do this video and, uh, you know, promote Play Movie Money to, uh, you know, my viewers, you guys. So, yeah, definitely make sure to pick up some prop money from uh, PlayMovieMoney.com. It's definitely the best deal, like only $10 a stack, you know, and uh, it's even cheaper than that if you get, like, these large, uh, you know, bundles. They're uh, a lot cheaper they're, um, per stack. You know, if you actually do the math, they're a lot cheaper per stack when you get the larger quantities. So, yeah, we did get the 50 stacks of hundreds, but we did not get 30 stacks of uh, the euros, the 50 euro notes. We only got 20 stacks of the uh, 50 euro notes, and we didn't get any stacks of the 20 pound bank notes. We were supposed to get 20 stacks of the 20 pound bank notes, but we do have 10 stacks of these 50 pound banknotes which these 50 these are this, this actually probably makes up for it because 50 pound uh, banknotes are pretty impressive so yeah we have 10 stacks of this it's pretty impressive as you can see and for those wondering this is the exact uh, this is the accurate size and then of course we have um, some five pound uh, some yes we have four stacks of uh, five pound notes as you can see And of course, uh, I know a lot of you guys always ask, what does it feel like? It feels like printer paper. It does not feel like, like actual money, which, you know, obviously would be illegal for prop money to feel like actual money. And I don't even know why you would want your prop money to, to feel like actual money unless you're trying to do something you're not supposed to be doing with it. I think the only thing you should care about is your prop money looking, uh, you know, like actual money. And you just crumple it up or you, you know, uh, put it in water and let it dry and you know, have that age type of look. I think you would, you, you know, people that are filmmakers and, YouTube, you know, if you're a filmmaker, you're trying to use this for your music video, your or your commercial, or your, you know, um, you know, stuff like that, you know, uh, then you're really not going to care if it doesn't feel like actual money. Like all you should care about is it looking like actual money on screen. If you're you know, for your movie, your music video, and stuff like that, you know. So, um, and then for all you pranksters out there, like, oh, I want to prank someone. It needs to feel like actual money when when they grab it. I'm like, well, if you're pranking someone with prop money and they're holding prop money and they can't tell that it's not prop money that's called counterfeit you should the, the prank is over once they pick up the money like you know the prank is if you're gonna do a prank you're gonna do a prank where you're like you know you're taking money out of the bag and people are, oh my god look how do we get all that money but obviously if they pick up the bill and they start examining it then then the prank is over like if someone is holding a prop bill and they still can't tell that it's fake like that Guys, come on. You should not care if your prop money does not feel like actual money. Like, unless you're a, a criminal and you're, do, you're trying to do some illegal stuff, which is obviously against the law. You know, it's, it's legal to own prop money as a novelty. But it's illegal if you try to pass it off as actual money, and that's obviously illegal. But it's not illegal to own. The differences between counterfeit money and prop money is prop money is legal to own 
Counterfeit money, even if you don't try to pass off counterfeit money, it is illegal to own in your possession. So counterfeit money is illegal to own, and of course it's illegal to spend. <laughs> but prop money is legal to own, but it's illegal if you try to pass it off as uh, actual money. So yeah, this prop money feels like printer paper, and that's just, that's just the way it is. And you know, if you're mad about that, then that's too bad. Like this is prop money, like it, it feels like printer paper. So I don't understand why people keep on asking the question, oh, but does it feel like actual money? No, it does not feel, there's no such thing as prop money that feels like actual money. Okay, so that's uh, done. So let's actually do some comparison, and, uh, and I think I'll call that a day. And uh, yeah, so let's do that now. Okay, so real quick before we start, I do want to mention that Play Movie Money is a Chinese prop money manufacturer, so if you live in the US like me, then you're going to have to be patient. This package here took 32 days to arrive. Let me repeat that. 32 days to arrive. So, um, yeah, you're definitely going to be patient if you live in the US. I live in the state of Iowa. So, yeah, 32 days to arrive. In my previous package from Play Movie Money, it took 27 days to arrive, but this one took the longest 32 days to arrive. So, again, if you live in the US, definitely keep that in mind. You're going to have to wait a while, so... Yeah. Also, real quick, I do want to mention that Play Movie Money, they do make $1 bills, $2 bills, $5 bills, $10 bills, $20 bills, $50 bills, and uh, both the $100 bills. You know, the, the $100 bills with the blue strip, and then the, you know, the previous $100 bills. So, uh, yeah. And then with the euros, they do make the 5, 10, 20, 50, but they also make the hundreds and the 200 euro banknotes. They do not have any 500 euro banknotes uh, as of now. And then with the pounds, they do have the, they have, of course, you know, the 5 pound, and then they have the 10 pound, the 20 pound and then all the way up to the uh, the 50 pound and I think on their website they also have some Canadian banknotes as well and uh, some I think even now some Australian ones as well which uh, was pretty interesting but um, yeah so anyway that's that so uh, yeah let's continue and uh, let's not forget they also have uh, some rubles as well they only have the uh, 5,000 uh, ruble banknotes this is like you know some uh, Russian um, currency um, but yeah they only have this denomination they don't have any other um, denomination just the 5,000 uh, ruble uh, banknotes and uh, yeah that's that's pretty much it but uh, yeah let's do a quick comparison uh, super quickly so as you can see we have uh, play movie money um, on top and then we have the actual hundred dollar bill on the uh, bottom so you can see uh, the main differences uh, we have uh, for motion picture use only and then in the fine print you can see this says this is not legal it is to be used for motion props and uh, over here you can see over here it says uh, this is not a legal tender by the way, all the serial numbers on the Play Movie Money, they're all the same. As you can see, um, all the serial numbers are the uh, same. So yeah, they're all the same. Uh, yeah, so there you go, the disclaimers uh, right there, as you can see in the fine print, and then the, yeah, fine print over here for our motion picture use only, and then, of course, this is not a legal tender, and then, um, what else we have over here? Yeah, oh yeah, United We Stand, Movie, Money, Use, when you can see the actual one says United States, a Federal Reserve System, and uh, stuff like that. Um, and of course you have fe uh, Federal Reserve Note, instead of uh, this is not a legal tender. And so yeah, obviously you see the the uh, differences. Um, let's look, take a look at that green part there that says the Department of the Treasury. That Actually, that's pretty accurate. Yeah, the Department of yeah. Okay, so they didn't change that actually, that's pretty good there. And of course the blue strip is actually really good on Play Movie Money, as you can see the blue strip. Now of course on Play Movie Money we have where it should say Franklin, it says not legal tender. There's the actual hundred, it says Franklin right there. And of course in the actual hundred we have a, you know, an actual hologram as you as you move it. The hologram does not, uh, it's not a working hologram, it's just, it's just ink, you know, it's not, it's not, it's not a 3D working hologram as you can see on the prop money because obviously that would be illegal. Now over here the, the prop money says series 2017A and then the actual bill says series um, 2009 and then some hundreds will also have series 2013 on it uh, but there is no actual hundred that will say series 2017 I don't think so I don't think I think only on like a only on one dollar bills and twenty dollar bills you will see some some one dollar bills and twenty dollar bills that will say series um, twenty seventeen. You know the Stephen T. Mnuchin ones, um, yeah. And then as you can see, we have uh, on the prop money we have uh, prop movie money. It says it should say play movie. I don't know why this. I think that says prop movie money. Yeah, prop movie money. Um, you can see the actual one has some type of signature there, and then over here you see, uh, under that you see uh, Secretary of the Treasury, and then that just says Secretary, and then the actual hundred says Treasurer of the United States, and then this one just says Treasurer. 
Also, you can see on the uh, Play Movie Money, you know, on the 100, there's no, you know, color shifting ink or anything. It's just, you know, it's just a regular ink. Um, but yeah, on the actual 100, you can see as, you know, we have the color shifting ink on the bell. And on the 100, as you, as you move it, it goes from like a green back to copper green copper so you have so you use those as security features you know an actual bill is going to have and of course prop money cannot have any working security features and also if we take a look at actually where's my flashlight let me get it okay so i got my flashlight here and you can see we have the uh, watermark uh can we take a look at that there we go you can see we have a watermark of uh benjamin franklin when under yes obviously when you shine your light on that you have the uh uh, the watermark, can we, can I get that, there we go, yeah, you have the watermark, As you can see the Benjamin Franklin, and if we do that with the prop money, obviously you're not going to have any uh, watermark, because obviously that would be illegal, very illegal, and of course if we get the, uh, we also have the um, security thread, as you can see, we shine a light on this, and you can see it says, uh, yeah, it says USA 100. I'm not sure if you can see that on your end, but let me see. Yeah, 100 USA 100 USA 100. Yeah, so you can see that you have the, yeah, so you have the, uh, yeah, the security thread. Yeah, so you, the actual 100 will have a security thread, and of course, prop money will not have any of that, because again, that would be very illegal. Okay, so let's take it to the back now. And as you can see on the back of the prop bill, you know, again, we see motion picture use only. In copy bill, we trust. You can see they cut the top of the building off. The actual $100 bill is going to say the United States of America. In God, we trust. And also, you can see over here, it says Independence Hall. And there is um, nothing, there's no Independence Hall uh, written right there, like the actual 100. And also, there's some type of statue over here. And on the prop money, there's no statue there, as you can... Uh, yeah, so we have the actual 100 on top and the prop money on the bottom. You can see the, t the statue on the uh, actual 100, and there's no statue going on here. So, uh, um, you do have these uh, little hundreds on the back, and you also have some of that on the prop money as well, so that's pretty cool to see that. Um, yeah, so, uh, that's pretty cool. Also on the actual 100 we have this over here that says, um, I don't know, that says 215. I'm not sure what that's all about, but the prop money doesn't have that. And, uh, oh yeah, also the little tiny hundreds on the front is, as well. Um, yeah, some little tiny hundreds on the prop money as well. That's, that's actually pretty impressive. And it says July 4th, 1776, uh, and... That also says, uh, yeah, July, yeah, so, yeah, the prop money, um, definitely pretty accurate, um, of course they have the, the, you know, the, obviously the disclaimers, which obviously it's prop money, so it needs to have that, so yeah, also, uh, really quick, I just wanted to mention another, uh, security feature on the actual $100 bill, you also have the raised printing, where you, uh, have some texture on the, uh, on the, on the jacket of, uh, Benjamin Franklin, and also you have some texture on the color shifting ink, uh, bell and uh, the hundred so you also have some texture over here and of course you know on the jacket and yeah some texture there but obviously on prop money there's there's not gonna be any texture going on there and of course actual US currency is made of you know 75% cotton 25% linen prop money is just made of printer paper so um, you know obviously it doesn't it's not gonna fit you know it feels like printer paper and just feels even though I will say that the prop money from Play Movie Money is probably some of the best feeling prop money um, on the market. For prop money standards, I'd say it's the best feeling prop money because it's the exact same size. Well, of course it's the same size. But it's like the exact same thickness as well because like with some other companies like Prop Movie Money, they're slightly thicker than actual bills. But this is like the pretty much the exact same weight as the uh, actual $100 bill. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much that. So it's definitely, and also it's not reflective or anything because there are some bills in the market. Like you know, for instance, the prop money from propmoney.com is pretty reflective. So there's no reflection on on these bills, which is uh, really really good. So that's for the hundred. So let's uh, let's go on to the. Uh, okay, so let's talk about the 50 euro uh, banknotes. So here is a uh, play movie money on top, and then we have the actual 50 uh, euro banknote on the uh, bottom, as you can uh, see. So let's talk about the uh, disclaimers. 
So we can see on the prop money, it says this is not legal. It is to be used for motion props. And of course, uh, yes, that's the disclaimer on the prop money. And then also over here we see movie money when obviously the actual one has uh, that some type of signature or something. I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, let me see if I can get that in frame. Of course, this one, uh, yeah, that one says 2017 on it. This one says 2014. Of course, I'm not too literate when it comes to um, euros, so some nerd can comment down below on, you know, that. And of course, on the uh, actual 50 euro banknote, you can see we have the emerald 50, or the emerald, they call it the, uh, the emerald number. And it's kind of like, kind of similar to the US currency with the color shifting ink. You have like this shininess you know as you as you move it you can see the shine just going through the uh the emerald 50 um as you can see there but on the prop money that it's not happening so obviously they don't have those that same security feature it's not a working emerald number there as you can see on the actual 50 euro note versus the prop money so again it's just ink on the prop money but it doesn't have the actual security feature of the actual 50 euro note and of course also on the prop bill you can see we have prop over there it says prop so you know again you know legal um, disclaimers of course and then of course uh, now we have the actual one on top as you can see also on the top on the the actual 50 euro note you can see we have like a nice silver strip with all that magic happening as you can see we do that with the prop money. There's, you know, nothing going on there. Also, you can have like a sort of a clear window. If you see, you can kind of see my finger. See there, you can kind of see that that clear window going through uh, right there on the uh, actual 50 uh, euro note. But on the prop money, obviously, there's no uh, clear window there. So, yeah. So obviously, you know, again, these are some security features, and, you know, prop money cannot emulate those type of security. They can't have working, um, they can't have, like, a working strip like like the actual one and, and have that type of clear window, because obviously that would be uh, very uh, illegal. So, uh, yeah, there you go right there. Let me uh, show the back now. Here's, the, you can get a better look at that clear window on the, on the back, as you can see. Of course, on the prop money, you're not going to have... You're not going to have that clear window. Again, you know, security. Security features. And, uh, yeah, of course, also on the back you see over here, this is not legal. It is to be used for motion props. And of course, you also see that prop uh, right there. And then here's the actual one where, you know, doesn't have that. But, uh, yeah, so I think that's pretty much it. Um, yeah, that's pretty much uh, it. There's... Uh, Again, the actual one on top. Then bolt and frame there. Oh yeah, one last thing I want to mention. On the uh, actual 50 euro note, you can see this. We have some uh, some texture, some raised print. These lines here, as you rub your uh, nail against it, you can, you can feel the texture here. But um, on the prop money, obviously, it's just ink. There's no texture there. But on the actual note, there's some texture. And uh, yeah, there you go. Okay, so let's talk about the 50 pound uh, banknote. So uh, here's an actual 50 pound banknote on top, and then we have the play movie money. Oops. Yeah, so we have play movie money uh, on the bottom, as you can see. And this looks incredible. This is so good. Of course, the size, the exact same size, um, uh, which I'll talk about that later. Um, because I know a lot of you guys have some things to say about that. But, uh, yeah, anyway, so we have, uh... Oh, yeah, so obviously there's some texture on the Bank of England. I can feel some texture here on the actual note. Um, some texture there. Um... I can feel some texture... Oh, yeah, on the 50. I can feel some texture on, yeah, the Bank of England. But obviously on the prop money, you go across that. I don't feel any texture there. But on the actual note, you obviously have some texture, you know, security, all that type of stuff. Um, it's so easy to kind of lose which one is the... Yeah, so here's the actual one, because this one looks so good. But of course, of course, it doesn't have, you know, doesn't have that raised uh, printing and stuff. And uh, also, doesn't have a working motion thread. So here's the actual 50-pound um, note. You can see as I move, 
it goes from a pound symbol to a fifty. Yeah, to a fifty. Can I do? Let's see. It goes. From, yeah. So it goes from a. Yeah. So we see the pound symbol now. And it turns to a fifty. It's kind of hard to see, but yeah, we have a working motion motion thread on the actual fifty pound note. Obviously, on the prop money, we don't have a working uh, motion thread, but it still looks pretty dang impressive. Uh, this this prop uh, bill, as you can as you can see, and of course we have like a fake chief cashier signature on the prop money. We have like a fake chief cashier uh, signature there, um, but you can see that the actual um, legitimate chief cashier uh, signature there um, on the actual. 50 pound note and uh, what do we have here? Oh yes, here's the disclaimer here. This is not legal tender. It is to be used for movie use only. And of course the actual one says London for the governor and company of the Bank of England. So uh, yeah. And uh, let's see, am I missing anything here? Let me just show you like a, let's get all that in frame here. Let's do that really quickly. Yeah, I might be missing some things, but again, I'm not too versed on um, the UK or, or, you know, these these pounds here. Anyway, here's the back. Uh, as you can see, the things that you guys always make fun of is the uh, <laughs> 50 poons. The actual one says 50 pounds. This one says 50 poons, which is uh, <laughs> pretty funny. But uh, you can see this, this is a very impressive bill. It looks uh, absolutely incredible, as you can uh, see. But yeah, anyway, so yeah, you can get a good look at that, you can pause the video. But uh, yeah, I think that's pretty much it, you know, I'm sorry if I missed anything, but, um... Yeah, sorry if I missed anything, but you can see there, as you can, uh... Yeah, here's the actual 50 pound note. Oh yeah, here's something else I just seen right now on the prop money in the bottom right here. It says, uh, this note is play money for video movie, it's toy. <laughs> that sounds funny, like broken English or something. But you can see on the actual, um, yeah, here's the prop money. You can see what it says there, and then on the actual one, it says uh, the Governor and Company of the Bank of England, 2010. And then there's the prop. So yeah, and uh, yeah, you, any of you uh, nerds can comment down below and and give some more advice down down in the comments. But uh, yeah, so uh, I do want to mention uh, really quick about some people have commented saying uh, with pounds they can't be the exact same size. And uh, if you're concerned about that, I you can always just order from. There's this site called BigScreenStacks.cash where the bills are like not the same size. They're like the prop money is way bigger than the uh, actual bill. And uh, yeah, so if you're concerned about that, you can always just order from Big Screen Stacks. But again, it's it's gonna be a lot bigger. It's gonna be like clown size, which is you know if you. Uh, but yeah, if you're concerned about that, you know if you're really worried about that. But the thing is, if you're using your prop money the way it should be used, if you're using if you're using it for your movie, your music video, and you're not doing anything you shouldn't be doing anyway, then you should be just fine. But um, again, if you're concerned about that, yeah, you can always just stick with um, Big Screen Stacks Cash. Um, so yeah, and of course with big screen stacks that cash, they're single-sided, they're not double-sided. That's another thing I heard people talk about. They can't be the same size and they have to be single-sided. So if you're concerned about that, you know, you can always um, just order from big screen stacks and, and stuff like that. So if you're really worried about that. But uh, all right, so we have the uh, the five pound banknotes. Um, as you can see, of course, they're the exact same size as uh, an actual note. Now, uh, let's talk about the five pound note. So the, an actual five pound note is, of course, polymer. It's made of like... It's plastic uh, material and stuff, as you can, as you can see, and it has these clear windows. And of course, there's you know polymer note right here. But of course, uh, play movie money is you know this is this is paper, printer paper. So yeah, something you guys might not like that, but you know um, that's just the way it is. You know, um, yeah. And of course, we have the clear windows on the uh, actual note, as you can see. We have these clear windows. You can see my finger on my hands. You can see it's a clear window there. But on the prop money, of course, it's not a clear window. Of course, also on the actual one, you can see this really shiny coronation crown. It's very uh, reflective, silvery, but obviously it's not like that on the prop money. And you can you can see, close, see that very silvery here. And as I move it, it goes, as I tilt it, let me see here. I think it changes from pounds to, wait a minute, can I do it? Yeah, see it says five... And then it says pounds. 
So if I tilt it this way, it, says it turns to pounds, then to five. If you can hopefully see that, can you see that? Yes, yeah, so we have five. Yes, yeah, so you have that uh, silver foil patch where it goes from pounds to five. And obviously, on the prop money, it doesn't it doesn't do that because obviously that would be illegal for it to have those type of security features. Yeah, I know a lot of you guys would like if they had the you know the, the you know the clear window, but of course it's prop money, so it's not going to have that. And of course, it's made of paper; it's not it's not polymer like the actual uh, five pound note. And of course, also you can I think I can can I feel some texture here? Well, maybe not not really on the actual one, but um, but yeah. Anyway, uh, let's talk about some more disclaimers. Yeah, so you can see on the prop money again, it says this is not legal tender. Um, it's used for motion props. And then of course, the actual one says, I promise to pay the bearer on demand the sum of five pounds. And uh, yeah, on the actual one, we have uh, Bank of England. Yeah, Bank of England. And then on the prop money, we have motion props use only. And on the prop money over here, you can see it says uh, use only for jokes and good mood. <laughs> And then on the actual one, we have London for the governor and company of the Bank of England. And of course, you have the actual uh, chief cashier signature. And uh, then we have some fake signature on the prop money. And then over here, on the transparent, uh, on the uh, clear window on the actual one, we have we have five pound Bank of England. Five pound Bank of England. And over here, it just says play money for motion picture use only and uh, is there anything else over here let's see this what else we have here the color is kind of different you can see this kind of looks more purplish and this has more of a blue turquoise type of nest to it but this one's more on the purplish side this one's more of like on the ocean well I mean turquoise but yeah the colors are you know a little bit different but uh, yeah and uh, again sorry if I'm if I if I miss something you know you guys can you know, comment down below on and uh, talk about a couple more things that I probably missed out and didn't talk about but uh, uh, do we have oh yeah pooned <laughs> five pooned as you can see and over here this the actual one says five pounds prop money says five pooned yeah, pretty funny. And, uh... Yeah, this green is all nice and shiny there, but on the prop money, it's obviously not going to do any of that. But, uh, yeah. There you go. Anything else? I'm oh, yeah, here's something else I noticed. On the prop money, you can see this note is play money for video movie use only and then on the actual bill it says again you know the governor and company of the bank of england uh 2015 oh yeah oh here's something else i missed over here look over here we can see on the prop money this is not legal tender it is used for motion props and of course on the uh actual one we have sir Winston Churchill, 1874 to 1965. Anyway, yeah, so uh, that's about it. You guys can take pause the video and take a good uh, look at that. But yeah, that's uh, I think that's pretty much it. Again, sorry if there were any mistakes or if I forgot to mention anything. You know, it's, yeah. Yeah, that's uh, pretty much it. Definitely make sure to give it a like, you know, hit the thumbs up and all that stuff. And if you have any questions, uh, I'm not customer service, so you can always, if you have any questions about your order, you order from them. Just understand that if you live in the U.S., it's going to take a long time. It took 32 days for this package to arrive. And uh, yeah, if you have any questions about your order, you can always email Play Movie Money. Their email is sales at playmoviemoney.com. So if I have uh, something pop up on the screen right now, so sales at playmoviemoney.com. That's their email address. So if you order something, you have some questions about your order, you can always email them there. So yeah, thank you for watching the Phantom Drawing YouTube channel. Make sure to purchase uh, some Play Movie money. Uh, if you're, you know, if you live in the U.S., definitely make sure to uh, be patient. Um, yeah, there'll be some links uh, down below to uh, the products uh, shown here in this video. And uh, yeah, you can get some at playmoviemoney.com. And uh, yeah, make sure to hit the like button for the algorithm. Make sure to subscribe. And uh, thanks for watching. And uh, yeah, there you go.